What's up, YouTube? Um, yeah, so normally I would open up in a different way. Normally I would open up my hands going up like this with a clap. And I'd say, what's up, YouTube? This is Rob with another reaction video. Um, this isn't really in itself a reaction video. This is more so an update and more so uh, a waking, more so a bridge to reaction videos that I have. And I'll just cut to the chase for some of you guys because I know some people just don't give a crap. If you want to check out the reaction videos to anything I've done by Bugsy Malone, so well, it's really for now just these two videos. Um, I had up a, a reaction video to the song Bruce Wayne and his music video of that. And I have a reaction video to another song called No Big Deal by the same guy, Bugsy Malone. You want to see reaction videos to either of those two songs, check out the description below. Those will be the first two links you will find for that. So you can just jump to that right now, ignore me, stop watching, whatever. That's where that is. It's not going to be on YouTube. And this video is to explain why it's not going to be on YouTube. And also the state of my channel and a few other things. So, to really get into it, because I'm just... Uh, I'm just like deeply saddened by this crap. Okay, so about two weeks ago, I have gotten my second copyright infringement warning, but my first copyright strike. And I had gotten my first copyright strike apparently for doing the... the for doing the thing that I've been doing for all my videos. Um, I put in the video of Bugsy Malone's Bruce Wayne and I had incorporated that into a reaction video of my own. It was a reaction video. I, um, this happened two weeks ago. Um, I literally put this out the week before I was gonna go on vacation so it'd be out. And then I had planned to react to some more videos while I was on vacation. And that way I can keep up with the every two week schedule cycle that I've been doing. But literally when I got out to where I was staying in vacation, I saw that. And immediately I felt like I needed to rectify it to just say and just figure out what's going on. See what I could possibly do. To fix that. Um, and basically figure out how this happened. Because I've been doing this. Now my whole channel. For now a good 2-3 months. And this is only the second time it's happened. So. Just so you can see what I'm going through. And see what I'm looking at. I'm putting this on for you. Alright. Starting in. Okay. So here it is. So. Uh, as a YouTube content creator. This is what I see when I go to check out my channel and what I upload. Now, you can see right here, these are videos I've uploaded and videos I've put up. I got varying amounts of views. You can see over here on the right side, that's like a thousand views. That was a pretty good one. I think the highest amount of views I ever gotten was like 5,000 views. Now, it wasn't on a rap. That was on a sports-related video I did. Um... It was rugby because again people were teaching me and telling me different things about the UK different sports and stuff That's one of the things I've been checking out Yeah, rugby till I collapsed 3,000 views, okay that bottom line getting off topic Um, You can see this crap right here. It's just not pretty at all um, Bugsy Malone the artist Bruce Wayne that's the video and then normally you see here the thumbnail This is now blacked out now, um, even when I try to click into the thing, this is what I see. Bugsy Malone, Bruce, is no longer available due to copyright claim by Warner Music Group. 
Sorry about that. There's nowhere for me to scroll. There's nothing down there. That's it. There's nothing. There's nothing. And this video in particular, I had managed to put up the night of. Like, not, not maybe not the night of, but literally the very next day. Which, in myself, for me, was an improvement. Because I'm trying to get myself to crank these videos out faster and faster and faster with every passing time. So that happened. And then I got the video out. And the video managed to stay up for two weeks. It was up for two weeks. And just like all these other videos you're seeing right here, people were able to watch it. People were able to comment. People were, we were able to have a discussion about it. I invented, I had told people what my views were about this, uh, the situation, what my views were on the video. I had told people um, basically um, who was responding to my channel. Thank you. Please um, check out other videos on my channel and all that. And that information, all that data is right over here. You're seeing it. People were able to thumb it up, people were able to thumb it down, tell me they love me, tell me they hate me, or they want me to shut the hell up, whatever. But you were able to tell me that, and you were able to put it over here. And I was able to see how many views. I think I had gotten like maybe 200 views, or some odd views. 200 views. Not 200,000 or anything crazy like that. About 200, right? And just like you see in these other videos, I had comments, I had likes, I had dislikes. So, um... That was the situation thus far that was going on with the Bugsy Malone, um, Bruce Wayne reaction video. And two weeks later, everything was going good. And the video right here was like eight minutes long. And then two minutes later, I get the copyright strike. And I'm like, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Because people had commented to me on that video. And when you comment to me on a video... I take that comment into consideration on what I'm then going to do for my next videos. Alright? So, that had happened. I was going to now check out other videos that people had told me, hey Rob, you check out his other videos. Because like, for example, I'm just going to click into this. This is how I can see stuff. Um, people are going to say, hey Rob, um, made a nice video. Please check this out or whatever. Please check this out or whatever. And people wanted me to check that out. I'm going to check out these videos, but, um, that was lost for the Bruce Wayne, um, Bugsy Malone video. There's nothing here. Again, once again, I can go back and click it. No matter how many I click it, click it or try to do anything, there's nothing there. That's, that's it. That's it. To me, that's the biggest thing. That's my biggest complaint or my biggest just overall gripe with this copyright strike thing more so than my video got taken down it's like oh okay I've had a video taken down before but this is the first time a video was a video takedown has now impacted my ability to actually make new videos that's my main um, problem my main concern one of my main concerns I have a few that's one of my main concerns now immediately when I got this um, thing I had tried to rectify it and I tried to see, well, how can I fix this? How can I make it better? What can I do? And I tried to look into the video takedown. And I'm about to go into that right now, how I could do that. Um, and I tried to basically learn more. And what I learned is that I have um, two basic options as far as this goes. And another thing I learned basically was this. Um that it was manually detected not detected by YouTube as like an automatic or oh, we're gonna automatically shut this down we're automatically gonna take it down but it was manually detected so whoever somebody in the Warner um, music group was actually watching my video actually decided yep it has to come down oh no no we can't we can't allow this manually detected and it said we're taking this thing down right now Okay, so then I thought, well, were people not allowed to react to this video? But here's the thing. I'm not the only one who did it. And more importantly, I'm not the only one who got away with this crap. That's one reaction video. That's two. That's three.
That's four. And my video was the first one up. The first one gone. First one removed. So, yeah, I feel a certain way about that. Now, you can try to make the argument, well, oh, um, just because other people broke the rules doesn't mean it's suddenly okay. Okay. You, you make that argument. But they're still up. And my, vi my video was cherry-picked to be the one to take the fall for this and get a strike. So, I get two strikes. Now, I'm getting... Um, punishments levied against my account which is going to further ruin my ability to crank out videos for you guys how does that work what, what sense does that do so I tried to deal with this the best way I possibly could um, and basically there's only really like two ways I could possibly deal with this um, way number one, I either request a retraction or I submit a counter notification. Requesting a retraction is basically I private message the people and then ask them to just take back their copyright strike claim against my channel. And that's more or less it. There's nothing else to that really that I can really do. An encounter no, um, sub submit counter from notification here. It basically saying like counter suing. So basically, they put a claim against my account. I would have to shoot a claim back their back against their account, saying that they were wrong to do that against me. Now that's legal action. I'm just gonna stop this really quick. Stop this really quick so you look at me. All right, that's legal action. I did not sign up for that. I, I love you guys to death. I love doing this, but I did not sign up for that. And I'm so sorry. That's just out of my wheelhouse in terms of stuff I'm gonna do. Um, that that's just crazy. That's just beyond out there of what I'm even gonna try to do or try to think about doing. That's just not an option for me. That's more than I ever asked for with any of this. I have fun doing this, but that's just more than I asked for. So, with that being said, I relied on that first option. Um, submit a request to please um, take the video down. Please talk to me. Let's see if we can work this out. Let's see what's workable, what's manageable. And with that option, um, basically, I, I had to just private message them. When I private messaged them, finally at it now, I'm so sorry. Um, Basically, here was the message that I ended up sending out. I said, I tried to tell them this and try to be just calm. I sent them two messages basically saying the same thing against um, them and my friend. I say, uh, them and Bugsy Malone. I sent two messages out. Here are the messages I, messages I sent. I said, hello, my name is Robert Smalls and I'm a relatively new content creator on YouTube. I'm messaging you now in regards to a recent copyright infringement claim that was sent against my account. My principal content revolves around me creating reaction videos to popular artists featured on YouTube and most recently I had created a reaction video to your latest single, Bruce Wayne. Before saying anything else, I would like to apologize if my video presented if my video presented my attentions off as ill willed or shady. I simply wanted to give you more attention and free publicity by opening up constructive dialogue about your work among my subscribers. I had no intent to pass your work off as my own. I only wanted to join the others on YouTube, many others on YouTube who reacted to this single as well. And remember those other guys I mentioned? Those are links to their videos right here. Right? Okay. So I pointed out right there in that little scenario, I wasn't the only one that did this. I just wanted to join the other people who did this. Okay? And then I finish off by saying, with this in mind, I was hoping that 
it would be possible for me to get my copyright claim retracted. I sought to emphasize your work, not take credit for it. I respect you always. Okay, now you're still looking at this. You see, that's been two weeks ago. What can I gather about that? Um, I gather that they're not calling me back. They're not messaging me back. They're not trying to hear me back. That's what I gather from that. So, um, we've established that I can't really work with just doing my own thing. We've established doing my own thing doesn't work for you. And we've established that trying to work something out doesn't work for you. So where does that leave me? Other than just being screwed. Where does that leave me other than being screwed? Well, that leaves me with not being able to put the video up. If I put the video back up, I'm just going to get a cop another copyright strike. I get two more copyright strikes. Um, then I'm getting um, restrictions levied against my account. Restrictions I'm getting levied against my account. This time, I can't upload anything longer than like 25 minutes or something like that. I got to take it easy now. So, going into the reasons why I think this happened in the first place. I think this happened... Not so, not really because this was Bugsy Malone. I think this happened because the video was new. Last time I gotten a copyright um, claim that was levied against me, the copyright claim was for a trailer. And that trailer that was, um, the trailer that I did was the movie Thor Ragnarok. It was like the first or the first major trailer to come out for that movie. And I put up a reaction to that video. It's been like a week that passed one with that um, video. Like no one saw it or like three or five people saw it. I'm like, okay, it's kind of a flop. Then I got the copyright strike. I'm like, whoa, what? Why did I get the copyright strike? That copyright strike, um, because the, um, the company that actually was the provider for the trailer um, was stationed in the UK. And apparently they didn't want me using their particular brand for the trailer. And I'm, again, sitting back there saying to myself, there are so many people that reacted to this one video. They were literally able, they were literally able to make compilation videos of like 30 or 50 reactors reacting to the same video. And I get a copyright strike for this video that 50 other people don't react to. I'm like, this is crap. This is just some nonsense. But I, I only had like five viewers on that video. So I didn't care. It was just able for me, able... For me, it was like a lot more easier to just let that go. I had like 200 some viewers for this other video. And I had people who comment for that video. Who had like actual hard hitting commentary and discussion that they wanted to make for that video. And I couldn't. And I, I saw it. But I, I saw it but I didn't fully take all of it in. And people were still adding and adding comments. I would have basically needed to memorize all the comments, all the likes and all, all of it right off the bat before that would have happened because now I can't even access that to see what people said or wanted me to know. Now with that video itself, my views my views on, on the rap itself were um, pretty topical. Um, I, I, I had watched that video after watching um, other hard-hitting rappers like you know I've been so thus far the most impressed by the rapper Dave and also the rapper Akala I've been the most impressed by them because they had these hard deep hard-hitting messages where they w were talking about very strong very moving topics that really struck chord with me so when I went from those type of videos to so going to like that type of video it instantly struck me more so as a um styling rap maybe like a flex rap where he's talking more about his strength and how cool and how stylish and how classy he is in that sense that's what it struck me more as in my initial um viewing of the video 
But something I did mention in that video was that he had made this rap comparing himself to Bruce Wayne. And I said to myself, well, if he's comparing himself to Bruce Wayne, does he have some kind of dark story about him that he kind of wants to draw and compare on with him and Bruce Wayne? Because if you know the story of Bruce Wayne, a.k.a. Batman, you know, Batman is in, in essence, or, well, no, not in essence, he is an orphan. And is orphaned as a child, had a rough childhood because of that, grew up a uh, hard life because of that, and has a big story to unpack. And if you want to draw that comparison between you and somebody like that of Bruce Wayne, I, first thing I said to myself, and I said in my analysis of it, well, are you are you really, it would have seemed to me that you would have tried to have drawn on more of those types of comparison in your rap where you compare it. But if you can relate to somebody like that, you probably had a very dark or, or somewhat rough life. Like those two, like um Dave, like, like he would like he would have said in his raps, or like Akala and the topics that he explored, you would have had a rougher life. So if I said to myself, I felt like kind of a missed opportunity there on that level, but I would have loved to have seen more of that if you were going to use this um this rap in that way. And. My, and the people who commented to that video, I remember this one. Co I do remember one comment in particular, who commented to that, and he said, um, "Well, Rob, something I wanted you to know. Um, Bugsy did have a rough childhood to some extent. Um, a big thing that a lot of people know about him is that when he was a kid, his father didn't really want anything to do with him until he got famous. So." That kind of um, played a big uh, role in his life just in terms of who he could and could not trust. And that was something that really weighed on him. I said, okay, cool. Now that right there, that, that example I gave you right here of somebody who commented that in this comment section below. That would be a shout out right now. If I was able, I would tell you right now who told me that and why they and when they told me that and I would be able to give you a shout out and let you know who told me that right now but I can't I can't pull it up I can't even see any other comments on my video they didn't even just attack my video they attacked you as well they attacked my channel in doing that so that's another reason why I'm upset with that we got other people reacting to this video getting away with it we got me getting a copyright strike for doing the same thing we got me not being able to give people shout outs that deserve shout outs and me not being able to know what other videos people had requested for on that on that particular video that's like four different reasons right there why i'm upset and why this person is weighing on me now with all that being said with all that being said or why i'm upset about this what happened with this and why that went down um, something I noticed new videos or new high profile um, songs that come out from the UK or I'm just noticing in general the UK seems to have pretty strict copyright laws and I've been thus far lucky so far um, but I gotta take it easier in the future I gotta take it easier moving forward um, so I have to say this anything that's new out of the UK I'm not going to be able to put it directly on YouTube I'm instead going to have to put it on a different website called Dropbox I'm going to always link it to back to the video on YouTube Dropbox and that's going to be how you're going to be able to see it and at the beginning of this video I told you you can go in and check that out in the description below that'll be the first one in the description you can check out but um yeah there was that that that's how I'm that's how I'm gonna do it if it's within not not well not if it's like within like two years if it's with if it's older than a year I'm probably gonna be okay but if it's within that year that's what's gonna make me nervous that's what's going to put me more at risk of getting another copyright strike by the same people or whatever is going to check this out. Because I'm willing to bet if they couldn't be bothered to respond to my plea to try to work this out, see if I can get it retracted. Even if I retract it and then agree not to put up any more from this um, artist, even if I do that, 
then I could have gotten at least this copyright strike retracted and do that. But they can't even be bothered to answer that up. So I'm willing to bet that if I put up a different video by a different name somewhat and then not include that video on YouTube, I should be safe in the, in the long run and not be getting hit. That's my hope. That's what I'm basically thinking. That's what I'm basically feeling. That's my thoughts. Um, let me know what you think. If you think it's a bad idea, a good idea, whatever. Because um, I, I seriously think it's nonsense. Other people got away with this. And I'm singled out. I seriously think that's nonsense. And I'm trying to fix it. I'm trying to possibly talk to you. And you don't want to talk to me at all. I, I think that's nonsense. I seriously think that's nonsense. Alright. Alright, so that brings me to the second Bugsy Malone video that I did. And I had that video requested by two YouTubers by the name of Rushpin and Lee Bosner. Those are the two YouTube um, subscribers, the YouTube, two YouTubers that um, requested this video. Again, Rushpin and Lee Bosner. They had requested that I react to the song No Big Deal by, again, the same guy, Bugsy Malone. Now, I had this set up in my list of like 20 or 25 other rap songs that I was going to check out. And just a list and just go knock it off this regular, like boom, 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 just knock them out. But then I looked at it and said to myself, well, wait a minute. This video was recorded only a month ago. It was published only a month ago. So, given the crap that just happened on the same channel with this other video, if I try to put up this, same, uh, this other video by the same channel... I'm going to put myself at risk to get a copyright strike. So I had to preemptively um, make the decision to say, you know what, if I'm being truly thorough with this, just to avoid getting copyright strikes, to avoid getting hit, I can't put that out. I can't put that out on YouTube directly. But just like I am going to do with the um, Bugsy Malone video, the, um, the Bruce Wayne video, I'm going to put a link to that to the same website, Dropbox, and that is also going to be in the description below. So you can check that out, please, too. Um, and once again, um, that video will also have its own instructions. We're just telling you basically to come back to this video um, with your comments and your descriptions. And your, please leave a like here and please subscribe. And that's the big takeaway. Please subscribe. Please subscribe. I'm at about um, 329 subscribers. I'd like that number to go up and up if we can just make it happen. I really would. And with that... Um, with that video, I had my basically my thoughts with that. And if you do want to hear my thoughts on the Bugs Me Alone No Big Deal rap, please check out that video. Just please, there's not much I can say to that. I was going to re-summarize what I said in that video before, but you know what? I, this video is going on way too long, and it's just weighing down on me. Like, damn. Just damn. Ugh. Sorry if I depressed you. I'm sorry if I bored you to death. If you didn't care, you just didn't watch. But yeah, yeah. Um, bottom line, please leave a request a video. Please request a video that you want me to check out next. I will check that video out, and when I do, I will give you a shout out to that video for that video when I do it. And um, if I don't put it up on YouTube immediately, don't freak out. Um, it will You will be able to see my reaction to it. It just won't directly be on YouTube. I'll, I'll still give you a shout-out for it. So, with that being said, my name's Rob. And, yeah, I'm out.